Hey guys, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net. Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a registry repair on a on the Satellite M50 series laptops. Now, what's going on with this is Microsoft actually released an update, or Toshiba did, and it went through Microsoft updates. And after the update, it affected the mouse and keyboard. The mouse and keyboard were no longer functional on at least the what we're aware of the M50 series of laptops from Toshiba. So if you've recently done an update or if Windows has recently updated your Toshiba laptop and you now do not have a functioning keyboard and touchpad, this is probably the case with your computer where the update has broken both your keyboard and touchpad. Now I've been reading where you know a couple of, of the fixes could be to to do a system restore which you you can feel free to do and if you can restore to a point before that update occurred uh, you'll probably be okay uh, i've been reading others where they've just been wiping the computer clean that is certainly uh, not the route you want to take it, it could, you have to put all your programs back on and and back up all of your data and such uh, it just doesn't make sense in this video we're going to be fixing this situation with uh, a registry fix Okay, also trying to fix this problem by going in Device Manager and uninstalling the keyboard and touchpad drivers and reinstalling them uh, does not work in this particular case. Okay, if you're stuck at the sign-in screen where you, your, your login for your password, if you're stuck there, obviously you can't uh, type in your password without the, the keyboard working. What you need to do is enable the accessibility keyboard option down there in the bottom left and uh, type you can use uh, the the on-screen keyboard there and you can just plug in a USB mouse and uh, this will this will get you around temporarily until you can fix this issue once you're on your desktop uh, you can go to your device manager and you'll see there that the ELIN controller for the mouse and keyboard or for the touchpad and keyboard uh, both have yellow exc exclamations on them these are the two devices that uh, when that Windows update has broken so we just need to go in and do a simple registry fix uh, to correct this problem. So we've had several of these uh, Toshiba Satellite M50 series laptops come through the shop with this problem um, all at once actually. So let's have a look at how to fix this issue. Okay, from the run box you want to type reg edit. And then once your registry editor is opened, you want to go to file. And the very first thing you want to do is export your registry. We want to create a backup of your registry. So we can just put this on the desktop. It'll be fine and name it whatever you want to name it. Remember, we have to use our on-screen keyboard to type anything in until we correct this issue. So we'll just type it in here. We'll just name this one Reg Backup. Save it. That save to the desktop. Okay, we're going to check and make sure it did back up, and it did, it's there. So from here we want to navigate to H key local machine, system, current control set, control, class, then navigate to the folder shown here on the screen. Now you may have to slide your window across here to see all the numbers, but just navigate to the to the folder that's shown here on the screen. And so now to the right, you'll see an entry that's called Upper Filters. So you want to right click on Upper Filters and then you want to select Modify. This will now open up a text box. And what you want to do is clear all the text in the text box and then just type K B D C L A S S. That's K B D class. So when you're done, that's all you will see is K D B class in the text box. After that, just click OK. You will probably get a warning message, but just hit OK and move on. That's the edit for the keyboard. Let's move on to fix the touchpad. So basically we're going to stay in the same directory in the registry. 
except we're going to browse to H key local machine system current control set control class and then to these numbers on the screen okay once you have this selected you'll once again have some entries and you will also see upper filters there also so as before we want to right click upper filters and select modify and that will open a text box the only text we want in this area is MOU class. If there's anything else in there, delete it. But MOU class is the only thing we want to see in this text box. Click OK and reboot the system and your keyboard and touchpad will be restored. We've also noted that since then Microsoft has pulled that update. So once you get this all reverted back, you should be pretty safe from having it, having that problem develop again through an update. Hey, I hope this helps people out there that are having problems with this issue. Uh, thanks for watching my videos, man. Rate and subscribe to my feed. It'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. As you can see, we've now regained functionality of our touchpad and keyboard. All is well here. Okay, everybody. Till next time. See ya.